Hello, I'm Aaron, and welcome to the Last Stand Gamers server tour. So our current season on the server is the Gulf. That is a plain parts server. So the idea of this is beautiful dogfights, aircraft, all sorts of creations using the plain parts mod. And they all take place over this bloody lovely Dovra map. So let's have a look. First base we're actually having a look at here is the Dash Hideout. So they've got themselves three helicopter pads, a control tower, a giant runway for takeoff, a few various different turrets. Coming underneath here, we've got the main bulk of their base with some drills tucked in there. We've got their main production and refinery center in here. We'll get a little light on and we'll go inside. All color coded. I wouldn't expect anything less from them. One or two grids tucked inside there and they are working very hard at the moment of getting all their grids prepped and ready for action you see the main facility in here reinforced with tires very cool dash have got a really nice facility let's continue moving on just a little bit further so we're going to go to block count this time and we're heading over to the nbs facility now nbs have been really damn busy you're going to be in awe at some of the creations that they've been working on so we've got a massive blimp that some of you guys might recognize, still under construction. We've got down here one of the little vertical helicopters from a, a movie that you might recognize. Coming down here, a little drill shift with them um, push miners, the plunge miner type design, very cool indeed. A hovercraft type design over there. And we have the, the cream of the crop here, the giant aircraft carrier that is under construction. Very exciting can't wait to see how this thing looks when it's finished going on inside though this is a fully functioning base you can see we've got the production going over in that center and then we've got the lower storage down here it looks like a, a Wright Brothers sort of biplane and then we have got an absolute ton of Spitfires down here these look great we've seen these shorts some events so far that you'll be seeing in the upcoming videos and they're just really cool to see fly through the air very very nice indeed coming up to the second deck here you can see this is currently empty under construction and then they've got the flight deck up top. We've actually got a pilot taking off one of these very unusual looking helicopters up here there. Very, very cool indeed. Let's continue on. So moving away from that, back onto block count, we're going to head over to CNA. We could have a look at the CNA home base. So CNA have got some home renovations to do at the moment with this outpost. You can see the, the bubbles up so they're not currently at home. They've got a giant mining rover down here working up there. We've got various different levels for aircraft to take up on. And each of these levels can have aircraft stored in here. You can see these smaller fighters tucked within. They've got a launch bay there as well. Coming down the floor, you can see that we've got even more storage room for fighters and a bottom floor here as well. Very cool indeed. These guys have got some really cool ships. Um, some of them need to be spawned back in by me at the moment because I took one out because it was stuck in the voxels. But still, very cool. So, going over from their grids to the block count, once again, we're going to head over to the EDT outpost. So, what have EDT been working on? This is going to be another bubble. So, they're not at home at the moment. But you can see they've got a really cool place. Another airship. So, this airship's taking a more traditional look the blackjack it's called very cool indeed and then we've got the facility itself now the facility is luther town but they've actually dug all of this out the ground and then replaced it back in so they've got towers from luther town they've got some of the other locations and even tucked in here they have got luther himself so very cool it's nice to see the players preserving history <laughs> or different seasons on our server so they've got cargo storage and the main airstrip there in the center very nice indeed and they've also got a little craft there as well very cool indeed let's continue moving so moving on from here we're going to go back to our block count and we're going to have a look at this grid here we're going to just skip through a few so as we come over into this facility we'll see this one is quite a vast location as well they've got a runway they've got a bridge that's taking shape going across the canyon They've got various different planes. Some of these are respawn ships that have been repurposed. And then over here, they've got the majority of the production. They've even got this cool little solar array. Look at that. Now it's tilted over here. I am hearing something clang over here. I'm not, not liking the sound of that. Oh, is it this rover? Some, someone's doing something naughty. Oh, that is a lot of clang sounds coming from that. That definitely needs to be stabilized. We'll have to have a word with them about that afterwards. 
because it doesn't look particularly safe. I know they tried to stabilize it up at the top with that landing gear, but something a little bit better. But still a very cool outpost, a lot to go. Production's a little bit exposed at the moment. We'll have to see how this outpost comes along. So continuing working our way through our grids, going back onto our block count, we're actually going to have a look at the FPS main base. That's what we've just looked at. RAB. Let's see what's going on over RAB. I believe they decided to build in one of the top of the volcano areas. So we've got another really cool runway at this location. We've got a tower that rotates some solar power there. Oh no, solar power, wind power. We've got various crafts tucked around the perimeter. And then they've got a central bunker in the middle here. What's going on in this bunker? Is it just... Oh, it's just production. It's a way of keeping things safe. And then over here we've got various different things. It looks like they're maybe building some of these up or mass producing them. The players are hard at work, moving around the facility, working hard. And what have we got up on this tower? Have we got anything interesting? No, nothing up on the tower at the moment. And then inside the control tower we've got this red theme going across it. Very, very nice indeed. Loving it. Cool little outpost. Let's continue moving through. So we're going back onto block count. And we are heading to NAP. So this is Luke Goblin's place, I believe. I have to let everything stream its way through. Now, NAP, I've got this wall sort of structure going up around the outside. That's really quite cool as well. See the detailing going on there. They've got some of the vehicles with the wheels lifted off the ground. And then they've got this in inner area. And they're going to have a, a taxiway that leads out across there. Or so I've been told. So it'll be interesting to see what that's like when it's developed a bit further. But for the moment, it's just production. They're still getting on their feet by the look of it. But a nice big wall, anyhow. So going back to Block Camp, let's head over to NAP that we've just been to. We've got the DBS starter over here as well. So let's have a quick look at what Lancelot's been up to. It might be a base, it might be a single grid. If you don't know, here we go, yes, yeah, all loading. We'll come have a good look. So this is DBS's facility in this one. They've got a cool aircraft control tower, they've got a bunker that they're building across the floor, and they've got some inner workings here. We've told people that they can't build underground bases in this one, just because we wanted to see and make it a little bit smoother as well, of what people would come up with when building on the surface. So you can see they've connected a few up, they've got a printing facility there. What's down here? A grinder pit. They've got a truck that they've lifted off the ground. Some very nice airfields taking shape, definitely. We've got a little jeep there as well that's probably on patrol when they're back in the area. What are they actually doing? Let's see what DBS is doing here. He looks like he's either building some things across or he's planning how he's going to build this next ramp segment. And then it looks like Dupe and the other chap are here trying to discuss a possible blueprint for the future, perhaps. Maybe a flying car of some kind. Very cool. Nice to see that. So going back to block camp and scrolling down we go past DBS and we've got OGE here. We've not had a look at OGE just yet, but we soon will. We'll see their facility. So they've got themselves this place that tucks itself nicely in between these two rocks. These guys are currently moving base um, because the rules, we had a rule that was a little bit misinterpreted. Basically, we said no underground bases, but some people decided to take away little bits of voxels, dig them out. Um, and even though it's not underground, it's still taking the voxels away. So we, we've had a chat with them all, and we've all agreed to keep the performance up of the server. And um, we're going to keep everyone on the surface and stop them from digging. So it looks like they're doing a little bit of printing before they move to the next location. Some cool little fighters in here. Look at all the little bombs this one's got underneath it. God, that's got an absolute ton. That would be crazy to see it hit something. They've got the cargo, and they're ready to move out when they finish packing up. So going on to our next one, let's go to our block count again. And we've gone we've gone from these guys who've seen all this stuff. Yep. We're going over to SWI. So what is going over at the SWI facility? 
So over at SWI, this was actually a monument that was placed in. SWI took it over. Funnily enough, I think this monument was built by SWI in the first place in a few seasons ago. But you can see how they've been patching it up with this mutated sort of effect. You, you know who this is. This is Shay, of course. And you can see we've got a drone down here as well. So this will be picking different items up and converting them step by step, brick by bit, as they take damage. Very cool indeed. So back onto the block count, we're working our way through. We've got DMX. What have DMX been up to? Let's load it in and find out. So coming up to the DMX facility, they are mounted nicely on top of this hill. You see we've got some aircraft flying around. Oh, well, not flying around, but they're, they're currently landed. But there's a little bit of a runway, a bit of a hangar, a bit of overgrowth going on in this hangar. They could do with a little bit of a trim, perhaps. But still a really cool mounting top base. It might be a little bit hard to land on that. They've also got a helipad here with like a little mini helicopter plane. So it's got it's not got any forward propulsion, so it matches up with the rules, but it has got that vertical shaft on there. And it looks like they're adding some extra engines onto this BF109 type plane. Very cool. Let's continue jumping through all the grids. So back to block count. We've gone past DMX, we've been to SWA, RSB, what are they up to? What's Spice up to today? So I know Spice is grinding down part of his base at the moment. He's attempting to move his base over because he also broke the rules of uh, cutting the box as a way to place his base in. But you can see he's got a, a nice portion of his blueprint up here, his whole base. And he's slowly starting to weld it up. It looks like some sort of port town. On the entry of here, maybe with some sort of harbour or dock. It'll be cool. We'll have to see or check it back when it's been finished. Hopefully he's not bit off more than he could chew. So scrolling down the list, we've had a look at Spice. We've had a look at some of these guys. But what are BDI doing? BDI. What are you doing up here? So BDI have got themselves a small facility taking shape. Still a lot of players are in the early stages at the moment as they are still building. So BDI have some hangars taking form, and to be honest, that colours a pretty good match to the terrain. You can still see it though. We've got ourselves a minor and one or two fighters. Let's go back to our block count and continue working our way through the bases. We're going to do a few more, and to be honest, we've, we've covered the majority of them by this point. So we've got G's to have a look at. What has G been up to? That is a good question. So G looks like he's building somewhere within this bubble. Ah, oh, here we go. So this is G's little runway. He's got one or two little connection points and he's got a large ship here ready to take off with some turrets on the back there. A cool little facility this, I like it. It's got a little walkways up to the top area and we've also got a hangar and all production is stored underneath. A nice compact base, maybe he's a solo, we'll, we'll have to see. So continuing on through, we'll do one or two more. We have got... G's base that we spotted there, MBS we've been to, TBA, let's have a quick look at them guys. What have they been up to? We've got MC, MCN as well to have a look at as well. TBA, so TBA have started, oh it looks like they might have even come under fire. So yeah, they've, they've welded up this top part of the runway, and they're currently running around making some repairs by the look of it. They might need some extra turrets if they've come under attack recently. Very cool indeed back up to the block count so working our way through tba mcn so mcn th3 i don't think husker's playing this one let's have a look at the base see what they've been working on so their base looks like a little bit of a bridge at the moment they've got a few ships a few of these little dark craft that we've seen in the past these dark ones can be really lethal tucked under there they've got a day since last accident quite, quite comical it looks like they are doing some testing of some aircraft as well. Testing a, a little Spitfire. We've also got that cool big bomber in here as well. I think this is made from one of the recon planes. A quick little emergency landing. Put it in a bit of a hole. But it's not broken dust yet. Continuing on. Let's have a look. Back to block count. Past MCN. We've got TNT that I believe we've, we've had an actual look at TNT before. There's not a super load going on here. We're not going to have a look at UFO because that's one of the admin factions. We're saving for a secret event. So, yep. TNT we've been to. So, I'm going to wrap that up there. There is plenty of bases I haven't explored in this one. Um, but we're going to have to save that for the next one and give the players a little bit more time 
to build as well. This is going to be some really awesome bases. I, I can't wait to see what the players actually come up with. Let's do one last one. Let's go to HGI. See what they've been up to. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. So HGI looks like they're still under construction. A lot of work to do. They're building a big rover there as well. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to let me know what some of the favourite creations you've seen in this video. And I'll see you next time.